it is one I think a lot of people sort of struggle with or try and work out. You know, my journey in which I've shared some of the things that happened to me is just a principle of what happens. It's not something everyone has to pass. And certainly Ian Clayton's method might not might work for him. You know, we shouldn't try and copy each other. I mean, I did when I was on my fast in 2010 and engaging God for the first time, you know, I had the time to, to look through each year of my life and look at the blood of Jesus and all the gateways of my soul. And, and that worked for me because I'm quite a disciplined person, but it was quite exhausting. And I, and it was something I never advise anyone trying to do quickly. What I have subsequently come to in this whole series is, you know, you give people a whole lot of tools and then the father shows you what he wants to deal with when he wants to deal with it and then you have the tools at your disposal to use so you wouldn't want to you know bang bang a screw in with a hammer it's a lot of hard work and it really doesn't it's not very effective so you use a screwdriver you wouldn't want to put a nail in with a screwdriver that wouldn't work either it doesn't have enough power behind it so we use the right tool at the right time for the right purpose as the father directs I would not encourage anyone to try and systematically cleanse their bloodline, deal with the gateways, do all this stuff, just surrender as a living sacrifice and let the high priest prepare you. And if he wants you to be involved in the process, he will. Therefore, you only have to cooperate. You don't have to be pre sort of, of doing it before he shows you that can be presumptive. So I wouldn't encourage anyone to try and sort themselves out in their own strength doing it even if they are using the tools that i would give or other people would give just keep walking in relationship don't have an agenda let him set the agenda then that works from the inside out building the relationship with jesus the father and then everything flows as he directs it he's quite capable of healing us and making us whole and he's quite capable of showing us anything he wants us to cooperate with that's a relational process the formulaic process, I just don't think is God's desire. When you're teaching, obviously, you can't teach 10 things that you were doing or happening with you all at the same time because you'd have a, a message 10 sessions long in one message. So you teach it systematically one after the other, but then they become tools in your toolbox that then you can use if you need to at any time in the future without trying to work it through. Now, if God directs you to work it through, which some people have said to me, well, I've been through the transformation series four times and every time God has brought me something deeper and great because that worked for them. And that's what they were led to do. You do what God leads you to do. Be at rest. Don't strive. Enjoy the relationship. Don't try and cleanse yourself. Allow him to outwork the cleansing that's already taken place. I do believe the work of the cross is finished. But I also believe as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So I don't know everything that's been finished or all the finished work. So I'm only operating out of that which I've experienced. So it, we are transformed or metamorphosed by the renewing of our mind. So it's not that God hasn't done everything. It's just we're not fully aware of everything he's done. And therefore, we're not benefiting from it. If it was as simple that everything was done at the cross, then as soon as we entered into a relationship with God, we will be fully healed, physics, spirit, soul, body. There would never be another problem, but that isn't the reality. The reality is we don't know, have a relationship of intimacy with the Father or with Jesus at that time. We just enter into one. So we're coming to a realization of what he's already done. That realization begins to change me. I don't have to change to be acceptable to God. I am acceptable to God that enables me to change as the realization of the amazing things that he's done for me, the amazing unconditional love, the limitless grace, the triumphant mercy is how it works out. Now, there may be things that God does with people that are swiftly done, but in reality, everything is relational. So it's relative. Some people are very, very broken and very, very complex, and it takes quite a long time for them to trust God in relationship to enable him to get into the depths of restoring them or reintegrating or making them whole. So you can't look at someone else and try and think, well, that's what I want. Just be yourself. Allow the father to walk with you, walk with him, stay close 
enjoy, don't set your own agenda, just follow him and he'll lead you on the path that will bring you into wholeness, that will restore you. I'm not saying knowledge of the things aren't good, but actually let him set the timing and the agenda and then you can enjoy the walk. You know, if you try and do it all yourself, you're really going back to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and trying to figure it out in your own strength how to do it. And you'll be weary, you'll be worn out, and really it probably won't be that effective. So just do what he shows you. Our responsibility is to our present ourselves daily, say, I'm here, I'm a sacrifice, I'm offering you my life, do whatever you want to do with it. And I think that will keep us in a relational perspective. We can enjoy the journey. It won't get heavy. We won't get bogged down. We won't try and dig deep and find things in us. We'll just let him to bring them to the surface and show us when the time is right. So just trust him. And I believe the journey will be a, a very positive one and an joyful one. You know, we can enjoy it. It doesn't have to be hard or heavy. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.